calculating how many tilapias can actually hold within one of my IBC tote. Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping in Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so in this tote I have some, I wouldn't say fingerlings, I would now say juvenile tilapia. I have roughly about three and a half dozen. Um, to me, this tote, this two seventy gallon tote is overstocked. But the issue is, I do not have anywhere else to put them. So they have to stay there until another space is sorted out right the pond is heavily filtrated plus i'm doing aquaponics within the system and so they should be okay okay i was asked a question recently um how many tilapia can actually hold within a uh, ibc tote okay so what you are seeing right now are some tilapia fingerlings right I wouldn't say fingerlings, I would say babies, fries, in which I took from my um, my broodstock pond, right? Now, if I should say have a tote and have um, fries just unearthed from the pond, I have, um, you know, a lot, um, this size um, babies for the next 28 days um i can keep uh roughly about a thousand of those or more in one ibc tote for 28 days the max okay now after 28 days they are gonna look something like this right now that thousand is gonna have to cut down by a half which give or take is about 450 or 500 right if that thousands remain within the tote as they grow like this i'm going to lose them through death regardless of how heavily the pond is filtrated so i'm going to have to divide that thousand into two okay when this size still appear double their size or reach the juvenile size um, I'm going to have to again divide the space into two and I continue to do that until I end up with um, food fish ready to be eaten give or take about a dozen within a pond like this right so if you want to have huge tilapia Easter fish that you you know you can actually eat one of those fish and it fully belly without any other side dish whatever you can probably keep three of those fish within an IBC tote um, just feed it ensure that the pond is filtered and that fish would grow super large to about roughly between 9 to 12 inches within um, within the given eight months eight and a half months however if you put uh let's say three dozen of this size still up here in it you will not get more than probably about seven inches or six and a half inches uh you might get eight inches it depends you might get a few eight inches but they are not going to be very large that's because primarily the space is small so the the the, the um the tilapia amount that exists within the pond that will predetermine the size of your end product and that's one of the reasons why uh, when you look at uh, a fish farmer like Danny Bunting who has some four acre and three acre pond he will release let's say 20,000 um, fish looking like this within a four acre pond all right 
and within a couple months um, he can actually unearth, he can actually harvest um, some good nine ten inches um, two pound um, tilapia from his earthen ponds because they have the space but because you have limited space with the tote you're gonna have to limit the amount of fish that you have in it right it is not suggesting that they can't be kept in this they can be kept in this if I let's say I am a serious um, you know this is this is my business this is my my, my 95 and I get 20 IBC tote I can easily um, keep 10 dozen tilapia with fingerings and nursery and always rotating and always selling um, I can keep I can get 20 of these structure them in the space and I'm always having fish and the fish are always huge because I would have uh, between 6 and 12 within each fish depending on how large I want them and, um, and, and, and they will grow large and they will be taken care of um, especially different from the large ponds that you see out there because every day I would have to you know be checking on each and in each individual fish now with the pond system is a total different thing where which you just it's like a gamble to some extent because you put 20,000 um, fingerlings within a space right and sh you're not gonna really count um, how much you actually get to harvest right but uh, give or take you're gonna lose some whether through debt, uh, through theft, or through you know crocodiles coming up and yeah, crocodiles coming up and actually consuming some, that is gonna happen. Uh, so you're gonna you lose some. But when you have a system like a closed system like this, not an open system, a closed system like this, where every day you are actually checking, if you put in twelve within a pond, you're gonna harvest twelve. Uh, so, it, but but you see the volume in which um a system like Danny Bunting will have overrides um the volume unit I have so he will always have more profit than a small enterprise looking something like this because he has more as far as volume and stuff while I have a small amount so therefore I'm able to manage it in a different way but the the, the um the the, the, the scene profit is totally different is hope that you understand what I'm saying um, simply put the less tilapia you have in a IBC tote the larger the fish get the quicker the fish go right the more you have um, the more filtration you're gonna be needed the more water change you're gonna be needed and the smaller your fish is gonna be as far as harvesting concern now you have to keep that in mind I, 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 I changed my water four days ago right and my tilapia are at the top and um, as you can see I'm doing aquaponics right I'm, I'm doing aquaponics so um, my tilapia is at the top as if they're telling me that it's time to do another water change and I'm not going to do another water change until at least the end of this week right so these are some of the, the issues that you might have as far as you know having an IBC tote you have to be and having a lot of fish in it you might have to change water more than the large species large species don't change water it is just there because the water because it's a um, large water body you find that it takes an extensively long period of time for the water to become polluted and not good and by the time that process um, is realized well that is actually realized it's time to harvest the fish time to release the water the space is um, you know void of water for a bit um, before water actually is added back to that space and new fish is added is hope that you kind of understand what I'm saying have a wonderful day guys peace out bye bye